Stitching May. I'm here to do my August video. I do realize that it's September the 2nd and I do realize that I told you guys that I was going to stop being this late with my videos. Just happened. Um, I'm going to again try for my videos to be the end of the month so you may actually get two videos from me this month. But um, this month has been crazy. Um, I just last week changed jobs which is a process that's been going on for like a month and a half but really hardcore last month. Um, I absolutely loved the job that I worked in. Had nothing to do with the people I worked with or anything like that. It was just the schedule. The schedule became a little more demanding than I wanted. Um, I, I worked part time. I was assigned part time and getting, you know, was as a, on file as part time, but we were having to do a lot of call and then we were kind of being frown shunned or frowned upon for not doing more than what we were scheduled, which would have put me as 48 hours a week with part time. And I decided that I didn't want that. I wanted to be truly part time. So um, I interviewed at a few other places and that kind of thing. And finally I accepted a job within the same facility. I'm just considered, I'm, or I'm now just part of a float pool. So I float from unit to unit and um, the schedule is a lot more um, lenient, a lot more forgiving. We kind of self-schedule. We let our boss know when we can work and what hours we can work. And then like if we can work extra, it's awesome because it helps them out. If not, they understand. We're not, you know, required for call or anything like that. Um, then we had some roof work going on. Um, we had noticed for a while some water on the porch, but didn't think a lot about it because it was outside, you know, it was when it would storm and there'd be water everywhere. Um, however, the other, or a couple weeks ago, my husband and I were sitting out on the porch enjoying a slow rainstorm and we looked up and realized that it was actually dripping from the ceiling. Not a good thing. Water on the porch is good. Water coming from the ceiling on the porch, not good. Um, we originally thought it was just gonna be a quick patch job. We called a roofing company and it just kind of, I'm sorry, it just kind of went from there and then um, it was like, it was supposed to be like a two man, a couple hour job, turned into a four man, nine hour job. There was, have to, had part of the roof removed, there was actually a sway in the roof, a chimney rebuilt and the bad part was is that because I thought it was going to be a quick job, they started on a day that they knew that it was kind of supposed to rain that afternoon. And then they got into it as they uncut the more they uncovered the more they realized that they're gonna have to do more then our roof ended up tarped oh it was a nightmare a nightmare insurance has been involved now uh, and anyway and as some of you also may know that we've put my son in daycare that's why i'm actually coming to you during daylight hours um and i think i'm having a harder time than that than my son is um of course the first day he was i don't know i was probably still more upset than the first day too but he was up there the first day, the second day he was a little better. Today he didn't even say bye. He like just ran to his little seat and kind of barely waved and we were gone. Um, but I I think for the first few weeks we're going to keep him in every single day and once he gets used to the idea that we do come and get him, I think we're going to cut back to three days a week because I kind of still want him home. He doesn't have to be there. I don't need the, I mean, it's more for his socialization more than us and needing a sitter so um i think we're gonna cut back to three days a week so that i still get to see him before he has to be in school and he has to be there just five days a week because i'm missing him a lot i didn't know how much i um relied on my little sidekick but anyway more stitching time hopefully and it's gonna be a good thing for us both so or all three of us actually but we'll see it's just taking some time to get used to but anyway, into cross stitch, which is why you're here, not for my rambling. Um, this month, I actually have a fully finished object, a finished object, and then I'm going to show you Starry Night again. I don't know if I showed you where I was at the end of my little month-long thing, but just in case, I'm going to show you again. And then I have some progress on my black work by Elizabeth Allman, Box of Delights. Um, I'll start off with my fully finished object. This was part of a sow or a stitch along from the group Cross Stitch and Discuss, which I don't know if you guys have seen my last video, but I listed the rest of the sows for this year. That way, if you want to join in on here or on Instagram, you know, just let us know, give us a link. By the way, Grace, um, one of the admins, one of the, my fellow admins, 
um, on Cross Stitch and Discuss is now making YouTube videos. So I'll put a link to her down in the description so you can see her videos. And of course, you know, Cross Stitch Joel makes videos. We're trying to get the other two admins, Sarah and Belinda, in on making videos as well. We're trying. Anyway, I digress again. Um, here is my fully finished object. Like I said, it's from the Clouds Factory Sal, and this is the Dr. Seuss pattern. And it's got the Grinch, the Cat in the Hat, and Thing 1 and Thing 2 on it. And um, this became a focus piece this month because I wanted to get it done before my son went to daycare. Um, I changed the quote originally. It said, you're never too old, too wacky, or wild to pick up a book and age a child. But I changed it to a quote from Oh, the Places You'll Go, which is one of the books we read to my son. And it says, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. And I just thought that was an appropriate, um, I gave this to him on his first day of daycare. I got his picture with it and I'm going to try if he will cooperate along the years to get his picture with it each year. But um, I thought that this was an appropriate quote for all throughout life. You know, it's not just, you know, when you're a little kid. I had thought about you as in the quote. Today you are you, that is truer than true. There's no one around who is youer than you. But I thought this one was a little, I don't know. It's saying you've got to make your own way, kind of, but in a nice way. But that's it. And I, this is just a cheap, like, I think I got this frame on clearance at Big Lots. Nothing fancy. I just stuck it in there, and there we go. I may eventually get it more professionally framed. I don't know. And then my other finished object is my stocking. Um, you guys know that I'd already finished, finished the um, stocking for my son. That was finished a long time ago. And we actually used it, I think, two years now. And then I finished my husband's stocking this year, which I have it here. I don't know why. And then now I have finished my stocking. I will take it this week to the lady who's going to take it to her mom, my coworker, whose mom will finish it into a stocking. But here's mine. This is by Bit Creek. It's called My Favorite Things or A Few of My Favorite Things or something to that effect. Um, I changed a little bit on it, not a lot. I um, I added in, these lights were all this one yellow color, but I changed them up and did the multicolors because I like multicolored lights on my tree. I thought about adding some ornaments to this, like some French knots, but I was over French knots. <laughs> And um, also, I didn't want this to be just gold and red on the tree, but then this green wouldn't have shown up. So a little bit of my OCD came out and I just left it alone. But um, that's really it. It's just the basic stocking. So hopefully, if I can get this to her in time, we will have all three stockings up this Christmas. And if we do, I'll try to remember to show you, a, show you all three of them together. Of course, I'll show you these two when they come back from the um, from the lady who's going to make them into stockings. And then my story night, I don't know, I, you may have already seen this. If you have, please forgive me. I just want to be sure that I had shown you. I never finished the la this page. I've got like maybe a hundred stitches, if even that many. I don't even know. It's all confetti, so they're kind of hard to see. Um, I'm on a break from this whip. That... The one channel I just made from Cross Stitch and Discuss made me realize that I am not a one whip stitcher. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this whip. It's not at all like gonna be on the background or anything, but um, or no more than I already was. But um, it got to where I wasn't stitching at all because I was, there were days I didn't stitch at all because I just didn't want to stitch on this piece when instead I could have picked up something and stitched on whatever I wanted. But, um, but there is where I am. I'm almost halfway done. And my husband keeps wanting me to finish it because he's bragged and bragged. He said to his coworkers and he wants to show that them it's framed. The reason he's bragged to his coworkers is his coworker is the person who does our professional framing. And he keeps talking about how close I am. I'm like, I'm not close. Quit saying I'm close. I've got a whole this took me four years. <laughs> I've got that much more to go. Don't don't say I'm close. But anyway, there that is. <clears throat> Again, that's by Ladybug Designs. Okay, and last and definitely not least is my Black Work Designs. I'm not, uh, which is Box of Delights by Elizabeth Almond. I'm not done, so I'm not going to do the close-up. I'm kind of in a weird in-between spot. Um, this is it all over. I only have these six more little boxes here to complete. 
I need to still do the metallics here in this block. And then of course I'll do the metallics in this block and then I'll go back and add the beads to the whole thing. Um, I'm not going to show you a close up this month because, or this video because I'm not done with this yet. It would be pointless to show you the close up when I'm not done. Um, once I get everything done though, I will show you a close up of the entire project. But this is where I'm at. And yes, I know there are some stitches missing up here on the top. They got pulled out. I'm aware. <laughs> Organic granny. <laughs> I'm being silly. Every time I post, it never fails that when I post a video of this, I'm missing a stitch somewhere. And um, she is very gracious and very nice and lets me know that I'm missing a stitch and where it is. And I appreciate that. But I wanted her to know that I knew this one was missing. But um, there that is. That's really everything on this. Not a lot of not a lot of progress, but then not a lot to go. So like I said, I'm kind of in a weird in between and I'll work on this until it's done. We don't want to whip stitcher again until this is done. And then after that I'm not doing rotation. I'm just gonna kinda of pick up whatever kind of floats my boat at the time. So that's it for my progress. Now on to my racks and my haul. Um I'll start with my racks. I was very, very, very spoiled this month. Um, Grace sent me some items and then I got a complete surprise and Miss Belinda sent me some items and I was, like I said, thoroughly spoiled. I'll start off with Grace's items. Um, she sent me this from Pine Mountain. Um, it's called You Make Me Happy. It's the, you know, you make me happy when skies are gray. I will not punish you by singing this song to you. My husband has all the singing talent. But I absolutely love the colors of this and I love the saying. It's a song that I sing and hum to my son all the time and that I was, um, that my aunt sang to my sister and I when we were kids. So I've always loved the lyrics to the song. She also sent me the floss, which I love this color combo. This turquoise gray and yellow. I think those colors are so pretty together. And um, I really, I'm really excited about doing that piece. And then she sent me the wonderful Silver Dragonfly by Nora Corbett. I'm going to put this to the side because that doesn't matter. This is what you want to see. Um, and truth be told, this picture doesn't do a lot of justice for it. You've got to look them up on online. I've seen a lot of Mirabilia's and a lot of the Nora Corbett's. That the online pictures just don't do it justice this is so so much prettier if you can look online and see an actual stitched i said that backwards the pictures on the pattern don't do it the justice that the online pictures do that if you look it up online where somebody's actually stitched it it's so much prettier than these pictures are um but um anyway i think i, I like this one a little better than the emerald dragonfly i love these silver colors and I, it, it's awesome um, Emerald Dragonfly, as many of you know, is out of print, and this one will be soon. Um, one, two, three, Stitch still has some. I think that once they sell out, they're going to be done and not going to have any more. Okay, my other rack is from Belinda. And again, I was spoiled by her as well. And she sent me... This is kind of organized a lot of dragonfly stuff as well um she sent me these embellishments these are dragonfly magnets um they're meant to go on like your photo frames like that and they're just an open magnet in the back but i'm going to use another magnet on the back end of it and use it as a needle minder i'll probably use this green one first because I, my son's favorite color is green and i only want to use one at a time so but i'm going to use these as needle minders these are so cute and they, 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 I don't know if they're metal or if they're cardboard, but they're beautiful. And then she sent me this filigram dragonflies pattern. That is it. It's got all these different dragonflies and all these different flowers on it. It's just perfect. I love it. It reminds me of a sampler. And it calls for, um, Vinky dye silk, silks, silks. Um, but I'm probably going to do it in DMC. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then this is Dragonfly Wishes by um, X and O's, designed by Joe Gattenby. I wish for you comfort on difficult days, rainbows to follow clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, gentle hugs when spirits sag, friendships to brighten your 
being in love to complete your life. And I love that. And I like that you can call it calls for a lavender blue, which is DMC 3839, but I may change it to kind of a light turquoise and put it in our bedroom or our bathroom. And then she sent me Dragonfly Fairy, which I absolutely love. It's with Joan Elliott, as some of you may know. And this pattern is so, so pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I won't hold it up too long. But I'm excited about starting this one. And then on to, so thank you Grace and Belinda both. And then on to my haul. I'll start with the gift card that I got. I um, won a gift card on Instagram and I don't want to list the person because I don't know if she makes floss tube videos and if she wants people to know her name because it is her real name so I will you know leave that out. I will say that the gift card was to Embroid Embroidery Central. This person is also a member of the cross stitching disgust group as well. But um, I looked online and I waited like I said I, I, I don't know how many times I filled up my cart and then emptied out and then I would fill up my cart and then I emptied out. But I finally decided on the 12 Days of Christmas Santas by the Prairie Schooler, since they're going to go out of business soon. And I got all 12. So I got three, four pamphlets, whatever, how many ever there are. No, three. Because the other one is one I purchased. See, I'm getting confused. Um, this is one through four. And this is five through eight. That. I don't know why I'm looking at it. And this is 9 through 12. But it's a Santa, you know, demonstrating each of the 12 days of Christmas. So I always love that song. I love these Santas. They have it displayed like that, but I don't know how I'll do it. I haven't decided yet. And then that, looking through those, made me fall in love with some other items. Oddly enough, the same person that I won this from on Instagram several weeks later posted a finish, I think it was her, on the group Cross Stitch and Discuss and that caused me to be enabled and I purchased the pattern. And this is a year in chalk by Hands on Designs. I've got a couple of these, I didn't get all 12 of them. But this <clears throat> was the one for August and it says Sleep Under the Stars. And it's got this small little camper on it. And we were thinking about buying a little pop-up to do some local camping. And I thought that would be awesome to put in our camper if we ever get one. And, of course, I couldn't buy just that when I bought from 123 Stitch. Because you have to justify the spending. Or the shipping, rather. The spending, too, right? And I ended up with this silk um, Karen collection. This is 207 Bermuda Reef. This is part of the silks. I'll need four total for um, the Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. And this is the first one I purchased. I almost got talked talk myself out of not buying the silk and just buying the cotton. But instead, I um, went ahead and purchased the silk. Um, Crosses Jewel kind of helped push me into getting the silk. And then because I had been looking at Prairie Schooler, I fell in love with this Nevermore pattern and I purchased it as well. There's kind of a funny story with this Nevermore pattern. Um, I had purchased this one and they accidentally sent me the Lizzie Kate one. So I had to send it back and they sent me this one back. Well, about that time is whenever um, I think Grace had her acne and then they ended up sending me this pattern again. So I've got one that I've got to send back to them because I've got too many of these patterns. And then today and yesterday while thrifting, I found a few little items. I wasn't meaning to get anything, but you know, we never are meaning to get anything. Um, one is this little, it's called a counted cross stitch instant frame. Insert frame, not instant frame. All it is is this piece of wood. It's got a piece of foam on it and a piece of Ada. And you stitch on this, you pat it with the foam, and you stick it in the hole. That simple. I'm thinking about doing little different holiday motifs maybe and then I can have this out all year long and a different piece on it. I'm also going to wait and show my dad this because I'm thinking maybe he can figure out how to make me different frames like this. Maybe. We shall see. And then I got, now I will mind you, the next three things I'm going to show you I paid a whole $1.50 for. $1.50 at a thrift store. 
Um, one is the Stony Creek Peace on Earth. Oh, that was so cute. The little Santa and the reindeer. But I got that. And then this is the year's blessing. Um, I got this. See if I can show you without showing the chart. I can't. My birthday, as you know, it's in April. And then April is Daisy. These are your bookmarks. So I got that. So that I can do my pattern. And then my still of the day was this. I paid $1.50 for all three of these things, including the Just Cross Stitch 2014 Halloween edition, which was $9.99 shelf price. You've all seen this. This is last year's, you know, edition. So I'm not going to like go through it and show you everything because you've seen it, I'm sure. And then my mother-in-law had some stuff and then a co-worker had some stuff and they both kind of said, here, we have some cross stitch stuff and we'll give it to you. Um, this came from her co-worker. These are a bunch of little tiny kits. Just most of them are the same. These are all of the apples and then there's some, some cherries and some sweet peas. And these are perfect, I think. They're supposed to make little sachet thingies where you put the pot pour in them and then you make them smell good. Or you can make them thin cushions. But, um, oh my gosh. This phone is not ringing all day and I did this video and it's gone off ten times. But, um... I figured these were good little starter kits for people. And then my mother-in-law had some Frost and some Ada and then this little bitty Christmas thing that she is no longer using because she doesn't cross stitch. She says she can't see the cross stitch. This is um, Leisure Arts Pamphlet 594. Mary Yuletide Mini Series number 18. But just little ornaments and she gave me that. And that's really everything for this video of some Ada. And again, I thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around, listening to me blabber and my phone go off. I know that's annoying. It can be annoying. But um, that's really it for now. I will try to be back before October. Um, we're doing a vacation in October. And then in November, I'm doing a cross-stitch retreat. Actually, I think pretty sure that Organic Granny and I will be on the same retreat. So if we're there together, we may try to do a, collaborated, a co collaborative video. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But um, I'll try to be back before October and kind of show you my progress and see there. But I'm not going to swear back because anytime I tell you I'm going to do something, it never happens that way. <laughs> but thanks for watching.